any node which is getting connected with a line so that is what i will call it as a edge three stores the data in the hierarchical fashion recursively so what is the meaning of it so all your data will be in the form of nodes path in the sense the sequence of nodes that you will come across between the starting node to the end node Hello everyone I welcome all of you to the at another interesting session in today's session I will be discussing one of the important topic that's going to be the trees all of you would have heard about this word right yes so what exactly then I will be discussing in today's session so guys let's chat I will be mainly concentrating on the different terminologies that we have with respect to the trees so yes without wasting much of your time let me get into the session so before i start introducing uh, you all to the different terminologies that we use in trees let me just tell you what exactly tree is all about tree is also one of the data structure that we have so in all these previous sessions what i have discussed is i have discussed stacks i have discussed queue i have discussed linked list all this data structures is a linear data structure but when it comes to the concept of tree it is not linear data structure sir can you please tell us what exactly linear data structure is all about if you are storing the data sequentially so that is what i will call it as a linear data structure say for example 10 20 30 and 55 so one by one one by one you are trying to store the data in a linear fashion so that is what i will call it as a linear data structure but when it comes to the concept of trees my dear students trees is not a linear data structure so then what type of data structure the tree is all about sir can you please tell us yes listen to me carefully tree stores the data in the hierarchical fashion recursively so what is the meaning of it so all your data will be in the form of nodes that is what you need to remember so fine so let me explain this concept with an example so observe you have the tree here this is what i will call it as a tree so you will be storing all your data in the form of nodes whatever the circles that you guys are able to see here so that is what i will call it as a nodes your tree is formed with the help of this nodes in a hierarchical fashion so recursively in the sense not in one complete stretch your entire tree is built step by step step by step the tree is going to get built that is the thing that you need to remember so fine so you got the basic idea about the tree now let's understand what are the first topic that we have to remember and to understand the first terminology that you need to remember is root so if i assume this as my tree so what which one i will call it as a root always the first node so this is what i will call it as a root node remember whenever i ask you what is the root node you should be able to tell me the first node of the tree is what i will be treating it as a root node so this is all about the thing that you need to remember with respect to the root moving forward to the next topic that i have edges what is the next thing that i need to remember with respect to the edges when i say edges you need to assume whenever i'm connecting two different nodes the line what i have between these two nodes is what i will call it as a edges can i say this as a edge yes of course can i say this as a edge yes of course any node which is getting connected with a line so that is what i will call it as a edge that's what you need to remember with respect to the edges so fine you understood what is about the root node root node is the first node edge in the sense the line which connects two different nodes so that is what we call it as a edge so fine what is the next thing that we are trying to understand the next thing is all about the parent node so what exactly the meaning of parent node when do i call any node as a parent node any node which has got the child node that is what i will call it as a parent node if you have understood the concept of the family trees are very simple my dear students you just have to try to relate the family structure to this tree structure so fine i am discussing about the parent node what do i call so whom do i call as a parent so the parent those who have got the children i will call them as a parent right in the same way 
any node which has got the child node then this node i will be treating it as a parent node sir can you please explain that yes observe i will be explaining this definition with the help of this diagram can i call the c as a parent node yes sir how do you say the c as a parent because the c node has got the child node as g and h sir can i call this b as a parent node yes how do you say that sir because this b has a child node as d e f sir can i call this e as a parent node yes sir why do you call because this e has got the child as i and j so this is how i will be able to understand or i will be able to identify whether it is a parent node or not so fine moving forward to the next one that i have child node so very very simple it's very simple guys when do i call uh, this is a child node listen to me carefully in a tree data structure the node which has got the descendant of any node then i will call that as a child node suppose if i call this as a child node so when do i call so when this node has got the parent node i will call that call this node as a child node so that's what you need to remember it's a reverse concept is the with respect to the parent node so when will i uh, identify this as a parent node when this node has got a child node okay when will i identify this as a child node when this node has got a parent node so it's very simple to understand about the parent node and the child node moving forward to the next concept that i have here sibling okay so it's very simple uh siblings in the sense like you know imagine uh this is a parent node okay this is a parent node and you all know that for this parent three children we have d e f now can you please tell me the siblings okay so can i say d e f as a siblings of course you can say that d e f as a siblings sir why do you say that d e f as a siblings because for all this three nodes same parent node i have the same parent node so for that reason i will call this d e f as a siblings so fine sir can i call this i and j as a sibling yes of course you can call i and j as a siblings because for both i and j e is the parent so same parent for these two child nodes so i can also call this two as a siblings hope you understood it's a simple concept that you need to remember moving forward leaf node whenever any node that i have which does not have any child so such nodes i will call that as a leaf node do i have any child for this node no do i have any child for this node no for this 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 for all the nodes which does not have the child node such nodes i will be treating it as a leaf node and one more thing i can also tell you the last level where you find the nodes i will call that nodes as a leaf node all right so fine moving forward to the next one that i have internal node it's very very simple what exactly internal node is all about by looking at this tree diagram you will be able to tell me what exactly internal node is all about let me just explain this any tree in a tree data structure the node which has at least one child so that is what i will call it as a internal node any node which has got at least one child okay that node i will call it as a internal node sir uh should should we have only one child or can we have more than one child for the internal node so minimum it should have one child it can have maximum n number of childs for example sir can i call this d as a internal node no you cannot have this d as a internal node because it does not have any child so okay fine sir can i have this h as a internal node so no you cannot have h as a internal node because even h does not have any child node okay fine can i have this c as a internal node yes sir how do you say yes because the c has got one uh, child node again if you check here again you have one more child so i can have this c as a internal node so fine sir can i have this g as a internal node yes of course because i have k as a child node so that's the reason that you need to remember with respect to the internal node 
Moving forward to the next one, degree. What exactly the concept of degree is all about? So very, very interesting and it is very easy to identify what exactly the degree is all about. So fine, let's check. So guys, the total number of children's that root node or the any nodes which has got is what I will call it as a degree. So can you please repeat it? Yes, the total number of children's that we have for all the nodes is what I will call it as a degree. Sir, we understood only 50%. We did not understood the rest of the 50%. Could you please take an example and explain? Yes, listen to me carefully. So guys, what is the degree for B? Let me just take the node B. And can you please identify the degree for B? Yes, what is the degree? Total number of nodes. Okay, guys, I have one, two, three. The degree of B should be three. Do I have three? Yes. The degree of, what is the next node that I have? A. So for this node, what is the degree? The total number of children that we have. So one and two. So the degree of A should be two. So what is the degree of F? Where is my F? Here. Okay. So guys, how many number of children that F has got? No, it's zero. So there is no degree. Zero degree for this F. The total number of children for that node is what I will call it as a degree of a particular node. That's what you need to remember. Moving forward to the next one that we have levels. Each and every step that we have in the tree is what I will treat it as a level. And remember, level always starts from zero. Always it starts from level zero. That's what you need to remember when it comes to the level. So that's what you need to remember. So fine, imagine this is the tree that I have. So this is Level zero, it comes to the next level, that is level one. It comes to the next level, level two, level three. If I have one more node, imagine, so it is level four. So each step, I will treat it as a different, different levels. That's what you need to remember with respect to the level. Moving forward to the next concept that I have, height. A very interesting. Could you please tell me the height of this tree? Yes, how do I find the height of the tree? Listen to me carefully. Let me explain this concept. Very interesting. So guys, the total number of edges from the leaf node to a particular node. Observe here. I'm going from the leaf node from the bottom to a particular node. It shouldn't be, you know, till the root node. I can, I can calculate the height to a particular node. Remember that always. I can calculate the height to a particular node from the leaf node. So that is what you need to remember. So fine, sir. So can you please tell me the height till B? So how do I find the height? So remember, I always calculate the edges. So fine, let's start and understand. So the height for this B, okay? What is the height for this B? So from J, okay, so one and two. Sir, how did you got one and two? So please observe from here, how many edges I have? I have one. So I will calculate the number of edges. That is what you need to remember. So edges in this is the line which connects two different nodes. So this is one and this is two. So fine, what is the height of A? So if I start from here, one, two, three. Three is the height for A. So if I start from here, one, two, three, three is the height. If I start from here, one, two, two is the height. So that's what you need to remember. So can I start, can I treat this as a leaf node? Yes, of course you can treat this as a leaf node. That's what you need to remember. This is how we calculate the height always from the bottom, from the leaf node. So moving forward to the next one that we have depth. Observe, there is a difference between height and the depth. This is what you need to observe, all right? So fine. Now. What happens? The total number of edges. Sir, there also total number of edges. Here also total number of edges. But there total number of edges from the leaf node. But here observe total number of edges from root to a node particular node. So from root you are going to a particular node. That is what we call it as a depth. So that's what you need to remember. So height in the sense from leaf, leaf node to a particular node. But when it comes to the depth. So depth in the sense you will see like this right. So from the root node to a particular node, how do we calculate total number of edges? Same thing. So fine. So how do you calculate the depth for this B? So from here, how many edge you have? One. So I, fine. How, how do you calculate the depth for this I? 
Come on, how do you calculate the depth for this I? So guys, what is what is that you will check? You will check the edge. One, two, three. So you will calculate the edges. That's all that you will do. That's what I will call it as a depth. There is a difference between depth and height. Please remember that. Moving forward to the next one, path. What is this path? Path in the sense, the sequence of nodes that you will come across between the starting node to the end node. Imagine this is my starting node and this is my ending node. So come, what is the sequence of nodes that you will come across? See, for example, if I need to write a path, so I will come across B, E and J. So this is the starting node. So what is the path? A, B, E and J. So what is the path that, you know, A to F? So how do you write? A, B and F. So this is how you will write the path. So that's what I will call it as a path. The sequence of nodes which comes between starting and ending node. That's what you need to remember. It has path. The last one that I have, subtree. Very, very simple topic. Let me wind up after this. So guys, what do you call it as a subtree? I think by just looking at this diagram, you will be able to identify what is subtree. So guys, in a data structure, especially a uh, tree data structure, each child node from a node forms a subtree. Each child node from the node forms a subtree. Say for example, this is my tree. This is my tree. So this is a child node and this is a child node. This child node is forming one subtree. This child node is forming one subtree. Again, this is a parent node. So this is a parent node for this too. But this is a child node for B. Again, this is forming a subtree. Say for example, if I have two more nodes, okay. Again, you can also expect this also as a subtree. So this is what I will treat it as a subtree. Hope you understood the concept of subtree. Guys, we have discussed the maximum thing, most important things in the trees. If you understand these basic concepts, rest everything is very, very simple. If it is not simple, it's my job to make it simple. So till then, take care. Happy learning. Bye-bye.